What's going on YouTube? Back for the first time in a while with some new content. A truck that hadn't been on the channel yet, but a truck that nevertheless I've been working on uh, for about a year and a half now. So a little delayed in getting this out there, but this is Johnny Cash, the man in black. It's a 1968 Ranger. Is a survivor. <clears throat> Did just get it back from the paint shop. The little buffing on the paint and got all the trim polished and put in all new glass put in with all the Ranger trim. But very solid, very uh, beautiful, beautiful clean truck. Um, before I get into the details of that, I uh, wanted to point out that the purpose of today's video is not really for a walk around. Is um, I'm going to talk about an upgrade we're making on the truck before we get it to the customer. And uh, it is a product provided by a F100 community vendor that we all know, Andrew Peterson, F100 Performance but I'm gonna talk about his big brake kit and uh, get one mocked up on this thing today. So, with that, this is Johnny Cash, 68 Ranger. Fully powder coated chassis. Uh, stainless, two and a half inch exhaust. It is a four link. Outcast Auto Works four link. Lots of Outcast parts, because they're beautiful, they're high quality, and uh, just they fit. So, start at the front here, Gen 2 Coyote, running a uh, Willwood Master, a uh, power brake system, we're running the Tanks Incorporated Mustang fuel tank, the metal Brock regulator. Um, powered by the hour, lots of Powered by the hour goodies. Got the Champion Radiator from Powered by the hour with the right size inlet and outlet versus the oversize for the big block stuff. These are just, I think inch and a half. We've got the uh, brackets on the front from Power by the Hour, little fat fender, uh, ECM location. Still some wire tucking to do. Gotta get the AC lines finished, but really solid truck. It's got a Gen 4 vintage SureFit AC on it. TMI dash pad. Still waiting on the seat. All the interior parts are in the bed, along with the grill. Uh, but just got through getting uh, kind of the remaining pieces of the sound deadener in the cab. But not a uh, not a walk around video as I continue to show off some of the parts. Another great offering from Andrew's Tuning and Performance. His gauges. But the purpose of today's video. Not that there's anything wrong with Crown Vic brakes um, quite frankly they perform really well I think you get a 12 and a half inch ish rotor 12 inch rotor at least dual piston caliper you get a good brake pad on there I'm not talking part store brake pad like a Hawk brake pad get enough uh, pressure in the line these things perform really well um, but when you're building a truck that is you know you really haven't cut any corners haven't spared any expenses um, you just kind of hate to stop there I know I'm ridiculous I won't do it again I promise so let's dive into what we're doing today we're going to take this absolutely beautiful Willwood six piston and GT 500 rotor setup and mock it up on this truck so that we can measure for something that I'll show you in another video so let's start getting these on but we got to get the old parts off. And while we're here, shout out to my boys at Solus Innovations. Got their uh, tucked bumper brackets to uh, really kind of aesthetically pull off the back of this truck. So let's dive in. Right off the bat, one thing to notice is when you looked at the overall depth of the uh, stock PBR caliper against the wheelwood, uh, about the same size. Now I will call out that when you <clears throat> lay them on the back, the uh, the bulk of some of that gain, it's like a quarter of an inch gain, I think, of stick out, um, comes from the outside. Where you've got three pistons, three pistons, six pistons of pressure versus just the two with the clamping power on the front side of the PBR. Uh, obviously, greater stopping potential there. And you get easily an inch more on each side uh, it's 14 inch rotor gt500 rotor 
that if you buy from Andrew is already machined out to fit the Crown Vic hub. Um, I like stock parts, so big difference here. And this kit comes with the ARP studs to bolt the um, caliper to these billet brackets. That bolt directly to the spindle. And uh, you get the braided line. Looks like it's a dash 3 AN on one end, and that is a 45 degree flare, like a brake line, with a threaded sleeve over it. So I gotta figure that out to that. But uh, beyond that, really solid, very well put together kit. Gonna mop this thing up, because I gotta take some measurements. And just like that, we have the GT500 rotor with the six piston wheel wood caliper on. So now I can get all the measurements I need to uh, make sure these will fit with the new wheels, which will come in a later video. But really high quality kit from Andrew for <clears throat> really an affordable price. In addition to that, we've got some wheel wood four pistons coming for the rear. And uh, you know, the thing about big brakes that look really good is you don't always necessarily want to cover those up. So we originally, we're going to go with these Detroit uh, D-Town smoothies. We've got a 20 by 11, which measures at 12 inches in the rear and a 20 by eight for the front with some uh, dog dish hubcaps that will run for a little bit until something else arrives, at which point these will either go on another project, who knows. But Stay tuned, more Johnny Cash content coming your way. See ya.